Hello! So we have just been floating an angel at Floatworks. This float was kind of gifted to me by Floatworks, so thank you very, very much, Floatworks. Um, but I love this place so much, I will keep coming here. Scott has come to visit for a few days because he wants to come and watch um, my open dress run on Saturday night and press next week. Um, he's very eager to see what I've been talking about for the last two years about Cinderella. So today we've been floating, obviously. Then I have a vocal call. Um, at 4.30 to 5.30, and then we're going to see our lovely friends Heber and Sedge in Everybody's Talking About Jamie, which neither Scott or I have seen. So, come with us. Hello, it's Carrie Fletcher. Uh, Neither of us have ever seen it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Mother's going to Speak of tongue. Yeah. Uh. We're back. We're back in my room. I felt a little bit emotional coming in and putting my little humidifier on and setting up my lights the way I like them. Ah, I missed it so much, but we're back, we're back. And it means that I'm also with my perfume that I like. So I left it here and I was a little bit gutted. But there we go, smelling like myself again. Yay. Hello, so I'm in my 
wig prep. We're not in costume or anything today. We're just in wig caps. So both my mics are here and my tracker's there, but I don't have to wear my wig. The wig prep is purely just to make sure that my mic and my trackers are in the same place that they would be whilst during a performance. This massive box of vinyl slips has just appeared in my room, so I'm gonna sit and sign all of those. I thought I'd signed them all, but clearly there are more. So I'm gonna sit and sign those. However, all of my Sharpies are running out. So might need to invest in a few more. I got given this hamper by the wonderful Louise Pentland when she sent me one of her phenomenal bags, which I will link below, by the way. It's stunning. It's stunning. So I got all of these today <laughs> so people can just come in and have a chocolate bar or a fizzy drink as and when they feel like it or need it. Hello, everyone. So we have had a dress rehearsal this afternoon, which went so well. Thank goodness we all remember what we're doing. Scratch that. Thank goodness I remember. I know what I'm doing because that is the first full run through we've had since our four week break. Um, and tonight we have an open dress rehearsal, which is where we've been able to invite friends and family to come and watch the show. And it is the first time we are performing to a full capacity audience. So it's nice that the first full capacity audience is our family and friends because it means they're gonna be kind and they're gonna be nice to us. Ollie is teching Frozen, so sadly he can't come, but the wonderful Scott Page is sat in row E, which means he is sat in the seats that mean you will be moved in more ways than one. So he's very excited. Um, so yeah. I can't wait to catch up with him after the show and see what he thought. But oh my God, I've forgotten what that feels like. It might be a bit overwhelming, so I'm gonna need to like hold it together. I'm gonna need to hold it together. Here we go. I haven't filmed anything all day because I'm an absolute bag of nerves, but it is press night. We are opening officially to a full capacity audience. This is our first official performance, not a dress run. <sighs> Here we go. Just quickly, we've all been given these as well. We've all been given maps of Belleville. I don't know if you can see that, just can see my lights in it. There we go. We've been given maps of Belleville. And on the back, I've got the sweetest message from Andrew Lloyd Webber himself. Ah, what is my life? But here we go. I need to not get emotional before the show because I've already cried maybe like three or four times today. So here we go. Act one is done. And I now have to take this wig off to put this wig on to put this wig on over the top. props in my bag that have like easter eggs, Cinderella easter egg, well Android Webber easter eggs in them. So this is my spray can for the top of the show. I've got a wadge of money as well in my uh, bag to pay the godmother but on each note Hello, it is Sunday and I've just realized I need to pick out a new angel card. I think I explained these in another video. I've put them in a little bag now, but um, an angel card is just a card that has like cute little words on them, like light and grace and hope and responsibility and stuff like that. And basically I pick a word and then I channel that word for the rest of the day. So today's word is acceptance now that we're just getting into the swing of 
shows and we are just getting into the run without having to rehearse during the day. Um, the covers are rehearsing, however, um, and because we have an alternate Cinderella and then first cover and second cover, um, now that we're just into the swing of shows, they are all rehearsing and getting ready to go on should they ever need to, which means one by one, they are taking the show off and shadowing me and the Cinderella track just so they can see what happens behind the scenes as opposed to what, because they all know what happens on stage, they all know their lines and they all know what they're doing on stage, but then there's certain things that just happen backstage that just make your life easier and things that I've found like putting props in certain places or reapplying lipstick, like taking it off and putting it back on so that when you have to take it off for the quick change, it comes off easier because when it dries, it sticks to you. Just stupid stuff like that, that will just make your life easier when you are doing Cinderella that um, wouldn't be taught to them on stage. Um, so yeah, Lauren Byrne shadowed me the other day. She is first cover Cinderella. She had her first cover run the other day. Um, and when she shadowed me, the only clip I got was of us going through the lyrics to Bad Cinderella because I go through the lyrics to every song I sing right before I go on stage just because I am absolutely petrified of forgetting my lyrics on stage. So as I was going through them, she joined in. So we ended up having a little Bad Cinderella sing-along in the dressing room right before I went on to sing Bad Cinderella on stage in front of an audience. I am me, Cinderella, I have a style all my own, and I will not change it for you. No, I won't, no, I won't. Wild and free, Cinderella, you can laugh, you can groan, if you think I won't ignore you. Uh. I think poor you. Let me go, 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 this week has felt like an extra long one because of the lead up to press night and I think we all put so much pressure on press night because it's been delayed and Covid has just put so many spanners into the works so it feels like it has taken us a million years to get to this point. For some of us it feels like it's taken even longer to get to this point because um, me and Victoria Hamilton Barrett who plays the stepmother, um, we've known that we were going to be playing these parts for just over two years now so to finally get to press night was stressful on the day because we just put so much pressure on ourselves to get it bang on and get it perfect um but then also just a major relief after we came off stage so i do feel like i'm on the come down from such an exceptional intense 24 hours um but we have monday and tuesday off this week so i'm looking forward to chilling saying that i do have to run a half marathon in my training for the marathon i'm running the london marathon um for anyone who didn't know for alzheimer's research and papyrus um i will put the link below to my donation page i would really appreciate you donating and if you can't then just sharing the page would be amazing um but i am running the london marathon on the 3rd of october this year so yeah have to run a, a half marathon but i will do that tomorrow and then I will chill for the rest of the day and Tuesday I will also chill. I've got some writing to do, but that is literally just me sat quietly at my desk or in bed. That is the joy of writing from home. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for joining me. I know this video is a bit of a hodgepodge of a million different things um, just because the nerves do get to me on stuff like press night. And so the last thing I think about is picking up my camera, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog nonetheless and I will put the link to Cinderella tickets below. Come and see us.